Hi, it's Carrie. Today we're looking at crocodiles, alligators, snakes and prehistoric crocodiles including Caprosuchus, Dinosuchus, Sarcosuchus and Gariel. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like alligators, crocodiles, snakes and the prehistoric crocodiles as well. There's a fun ending today, but you're going to have to wait till the end to see it. And here's Caprosuchus. Caprosuchus is a reptile that lived in the Cretaceous period. Its name means boar crocodile. The name comes from the three sets of teeth that look like the tusks of a wild boar. And it definitely has the look of a crocodile. It would attack prey near a watering hole when they came for a drink. Fossils have been discovered in Nisa in Africa. Caprosuchus grew to about 6 metres or 20 feet long. That would have been quite a scary sight. And here's another Caprosuchus. Its teeth stick out above and below its jaws but fit together when the jaw is closed due to notches in the jawbone that allow the teeth to pass through. There are some small bony horns on top of the skull. The tip of the snout of Caprosuchus is quite bulky and they have been used to charge at prey, knocking it over before clamping its jaws and sinking its teeth into the prey. Sarcosuchus is a type of crocodile. It is often nicknamed the super croc and it lived during the early Cretaceous period in Africa. It is one of the main giant crocodile-like reptiles that ever lived. It was almost twice as long as the largest modern crocodile and weighed up to 10 times as much. Its jaw is very similar to the modern gharial. Its teeth were designed for grabbing and crushing. Dinosuchus the frightening Dinosuchus lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means terrible crocodile. It had a powerful jaw with robust teeth for crushing prey. Its length was about 35 feet or 10 and a half meters. It looked more like an alligator with a broad snout. Its skull was five feet or one and a half meters long. They could live on land or in the water. They preferred waiting quietly in the water and then ambushing their unsuspecting prey at the water's edge, quickly submerging them with a death roll and then waiting for them to drown. The prehistoric gharial. It lived during the late Cretaceous period. It has a long narrow snout. There is a bulbous growth on the tip of the male snout. The reduced weight and water resistance of their lighter skull and very narrow jaw enables gharials to catch rapidly moving fish by snapping their jaws in a side to side snapping motion and using their razor sharp needle like teeth to hold on to the struggling slippery fish. We can still find modern day gharials today. The Nile Crocodile. The diet of the Nile Crocodile is mainly fish but it will attack almost anything it comes across including zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds, other crocodiles and even people. It will also scavenge carrion and can eat up to half its body weight at a feeding. It can be found in almost every major river throughout Africa as well as many lakes. The crocodile. They are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. They are carnivores and hunt fish, birds, frogs and crustaceans. They live in tropical areas because they are cold blooded. Can you tell me, is it the alligator or crocodile that has a pointy snout? Another crocodile and have a look at that jaw. Lots of great details on this one. The largest saltwater crocodile found was over 20 feet or 6 meters long. When their snouts are shut, they look like they are grinning with a fourth tooth on each side of the lower jaw sticking up over the upper lip. A 
baby crocodile. Baby crocodiles hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge from sand, mud and weeds and are just really shallow holes. These nests are only a few inches high. A crocodile egg is about the size of a goose egg. A white crocodile. These are very rare. They are lacking pigment which makes them the white colour. It is very hard for them to survive as they are not able to camouflage themselves easily for hunting. With crocodile eggs, the temperature of the nest determines the gender of the baby. When the mother crocodile hears the grunts of her babies, she helps the hatchlings push out of the nest. A baby hatchling. The babies themselves get out of the eggs using their egg tooth. When born, a baby crocodile is about 8 inches or 20 centimetres long. They are born a lightish greenish grey colour and they are also born with very sharp teeth and their instinct to kill is there from day one. To protect the vulnerable hatchlings, the mother carries the babies in her deadly jaws to a safer place. This is an alligator. An alligator has a rounded snout. All of its upper teeth can still be seen when its mouth is closed. American alligators live in southeastern areas of the United States such as Florida and Louisiana. Alligators have a powerful bite but the muscles that open the jaw are relatively weak. An adult human could hold the jaws of an alligator shut with their bare hands but I don't suggest you try it. Another alligator, again you can see the rounded snout. They are large reptiles and are closely related to crocodiles. This one's got a really nice big fat tummy, I think he's just eaten. Alligators eat a range of different animals such as fish, birds, turtles and even deer. Green anaconda, one of my favourite snakes. It's a member of the boa family and is the largest and heaviest known snake. Their diameter can be up to 12 inches or 30 centimetres across. They are dark green in colour with two rows of black spots on their back and lighter markings on the sides. They can hunt on land or in the water. In the water they can move a lot easier so that's their preferred habitat. The rattlesnake is best known for and most easily recognised by their rattle. The rattle is made by segments in the tail locking together. The white cobra has trouble surviving in the wild without any camouflage, exposing them to predators and enemies. It also makes it hard for them to ambush prey because they have trouble blending in with their surroundings. Cobras can raise the front portion of their bodies while they continue to move along the ground. And here's a few more I didn't have time to show you. You can see an alligator there, a crocodile with a pointy mouth and an alligator mum with her three babies. That one looks like it's basking in the sun. And over here we have some more snakes. And look at Dinosuchus there. The Nile Crocodile. Such a terrifying looking croc. And Sarcosuchus with its jaws there just waiting for its next feed. And I really like Caprosuchus. Travel. Let's see what happens. It's Therizinosaurus and a Patasaurus. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here and super fun reviews for more great videos. See you again soon.
please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again.